In this tutorial, I will show you how to download FX Home Vision Lab Studio for free. Now, go on to my description, click on the link. It should bring you to this page. Now, click on download and download the FX Home Vision Lab Pro. Click on it. Now, once you download the file, you should have this folder. Um, I think you have to extract it. So once you extract it, you should have this folder. Click on it. Double click on it again. And what you want to do is copy the first folder and paste it on your desktop. few more seconds. Okay. Now double click on the second folder. Now, same thing. Copy this file. Paste it on your desktop. Now you should have these two folders on your desktop. Now, before you click on the install, make sure you're disconnected from the internet. Otherwise it won't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect it from my I'm going to disconnect my computer from the internet. Disconnect. Now this is really important. Make sure you disconnect your internet. And refresh. And I am disconnected. Now go ahead. Right click on the installer and run as administrator. Allow. <coughs> and you should see this. Next. Agree. Next. Install. And it should take about a few seconds. Now, this is an important step. Make sure when you click Next, there's a box here that says um, Run the FX Home Vision Lab Studio now. Once you finish, make sure you uncheck that box and then click Finish. Okay. Now you're done. Now, you have successfully downloaded the FX Home Vision Lab Studio, but you're not done yet. Just one more step. Okay, go on your start, click on computer, go on your hard disk drive, whatever, and go on program files, go down and find your FX Home Vision Lab Studio right here. Double click on it, and you should have this. Now, go on your desktop, highlight those two folders and drag him onto the folder. Click continue continue and it's done. Now uh, close out and so this is an important step. When you want to run the application, the only way you can use this application is right click on it and run as administrator. Allow. Now it should bring you to this section right here.
and wait until it loads and the progress now you should you should have this click on blank timeline click OK and you're done and go on to edit performances and sometimes for some people this box right here it has a check mark on it if yours does have this check mark make sure you uncheck it and click OK and yep now I'm going to connect my internet back on and I close that close this and wait for that now if you now you're fine now every time you want to use this program you don't have to disconnect you're you're fine that was just only the first time but if you go on the program if you double click on it and if you don't run run it as an administrator you won't let you use it so if I like, like like right now I double clicked on it and it will say this it will say this this is invalid key file it won't work so if you cl click OK it's gonna sign out but if you run it as administrator you're fine and let's give it a try Here you go. See?